Right. This is not your castle. Human imbeciles, what business do you have in this castle? Uh, ah, it is you. It's the original inhabitants, no? Haha, <laughs> welcome home. What do you look like? Oh my lord. Oh wait, we've already seen Balzac. What am I Why am I so surprised? Although I guess we... It's been a while, so... Okay, we'll defeat you. I really hope he's not... He won't be that powerful, will he? Hmm. He might be. We'll see. Uh, in this form, I am stronger even than Sorrow. Really? You're stronger than Sorrow? I'm sure he would have something to say about that. Bien, you will grovel in the presence of such might. I think not. <gasps> and this music! I've actually just heard this uh, in Dragon Quest Builders 2. I love it. Right. I think we're just going to go for the same strat again, guys. That seemed to work pretty well last time. So we'll get um, we'll get an oomph actually on on the line of uh, nice and early. Curial, get some kabuff on us, please. Now is he going to attack twice in a in a turn? Yes, he is. Okay, that was pretty pretty hard hitting. That was a fair bit of damage, but not too bad. In fact, I think we can probably. Get away with mage attacking on this turn. Uh, let's get a sap on him, if possible. And Curiel, you just heal yourself. 118. Oh, that didn't hit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on trying with that sap though. Ah, your cool breath is nothing. Ah, this guy's gonna be a piece of piss. Why do I keep going to magic with Elena? I don't know why I do that. Alright, try sap again. It might work eventually. Nope, not this time. Alright, mage. Uh, Kirill can heal you. Yeah, let's just physically attack. There's really not much else we can do. Uh, should I go for... Should I go for a Crackle, maybe? Nah, I'll just keep on trying to sap him. I can't see him lasting very long. Even if we can't reduce his defense. Ah, this guy's no threat. This guy's no threat. Compared to what we just fought... No way. No way am I scared of this guy. Okay, Crackle did bugger all. Ooh, okay, that's that's reasonable. That's a decent attack. I'll give you credit for that one. That's actually kind of worrying, almost, but not really. Uh, I would think, though, we're soon to be finishing you off. So I'm hesitant to really... Well, boy, he does need healing. And there he, there he goes. There he goes. Balzac is defeated. Wow, we got more XP for him? Yet he was so much easier. Mage level 23. Awesome. And Curiel, level 23. All the levels. Ragnar. Damn, Ragnar's only level... He was only level 15? Wow. I thought someone said that he, like... His level scales with yours, but maybe, maybe there's a limit to that? I don't know. But anyway, he's... He's gonna be leveling pretty quick. You might get a few levels from that, actually. Yeah. Well, probably two. Oh my god. Tornico level 25. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to be using Tornico again, sadly. I love him. I love him to death, but in combat, eh, I have better options. 
Are we going to learn anything new? Oh, okay, Mina learned swoosh. Maya, level 24. That was a lot of levels. No, this is impossible. Nothing can surpass the evolution I have undergone. The secret of evolution will save me from... from... Bye. This experiment hath officially failed. I must inform Lord Tharo immediately. Looks like the secret of evolution doth require the armlet of transmutation after all. Only the armlet of transmutation can amplify the dark energy enough. Once we have the armlet of transmutation, the secret of evolution will be ours for the taking. Then, finally, it will be our time. The era of the Dark Ones rule. Wahaha! Well, we need to stop him getting his hands on that then, don't we? Problem is, we've no idea where it is. Do we have any leads? I have not a clue. But, at least we saved this kingdom now. And Elena's dad can get back to being a king and all that crap. Although, it, I mean, maybe if we leave and come back? Uh, or is it just still going to be empty? It still looks empty, but we can now at least open this door. Yay! Let's get a safe passage on the go. Alright, what we're going to get? Probably more seeds. Ooh! The Flute of Revelation! What what do we do with that? Is that we're gonna play it and it's gonna reveal something to us? A magma staff? Oh my god, boy ya. Boy ya, dude. You're totally gonna equip that. And yep, a seed. Seed of strength, cool. Uh magma staff, you say. Flute of revelation, you say. Where did they put it though? Okay. Magma Staff can also be used as a tool during battle. I should try and remember to do that. Boya. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. I mean, yeah, it would also be great for Maya, of course, but I'm using Boya right now, so here we go. Instead of the Poison Moth Knife. Yes. Cool, cool. Can't wait to try that out. Um, and the flute. Did you have the flute? Who has the flute? Is it in the bag? Um, no? Does Tornico have it? No? Ragnar? Ragnar has it! An instrument harboring rare magical properties. But what does it do? Ragnar blows the, blows the flute of revelation. <laughs> and, and that's going to do what? Nothing happens. Okay, we obviously have to play that in the right place. Or you don't know where that is. Maybe I've been told. I've probably forgotten. But, we've got it anyway. There's still monsters in here? God damn. Cheetah cheetahs. Well, I, well... We do actually really need to heal. Uh, Mid-heal on Boya, please. Elena, attack. Boya, I want you to use that staff. And Curiel, heal yourself. Ooh, okay, nice. So it's basically like a sizz. A free sizz. Which is okay. Was it, oh my god, really? Out of everyone, they, they fizzled the two mages? Wow. You suck. You suck. Hey, that staff did some pretty decent damage, though, with just a physical, though. Cool. Right, well, I suppose... There's not much else to do here, is there? Nope, still empty. Okay. 
At least we opened the uh, the magic key door. I nearly forgot to do that, to be honest. I nearly completely forgot to do that. Right, where to next then? Do we want to go uh, clean up a few? Well, start a few side quests, continue a few side quests. I don't know. Let's uh, let's quickly stop at the inn and. We'll probably go try and grab that, um, whatever it was called, the stone at that place with the pirates. Dun... what was it called? Dun... Oh, uh, what was it called? Dun Plundering! Yes, that's what it was called. We want to go back there and grab that if we can. And then maybe head to that desert bazaar and see what's going on there. do 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 uh, and it, guys, if you have any tips on how to make good money at this point in the game, please let me know, because I would definitely like to invest in some liquid metal armor. That would be pretty sweet. Let's go to... Oh, is it not on our Zoom list? Are you serious? Why is it not on our Zoom list? God damn. Is it only big towns that we can go to? Maybe. Alright, well, let's head back to the boat then. Looks like we're going to do some more sailing. Uh, and I forget where... Oh, it was actually... Was it not, like, really close down here? I think it was. Also, that island, apparently, you know in the top left? That I said was kind of inaccessible for the boat? Apparently it's not, so we might check that out again. But anywho... Let's grab... the, uh, the stone should be down here somewhere. Maybe, oh, maybe not? Let's see what they say again. These are the graves of our ancestors, yada yada yada. Yep, okay. The castaway stone, yeah! If you dropped it in the sea, the water around it would dry up just like that. So she said she they used to have it here. So where the hell is it? I might have to look that up. Or find the comment that mentioned it. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. Right, I've just checked the comment. Um, which was from Christoph. 100. Uh, thanks, by the way. Thanks to everyone who comments. It just lets me know little things like this. It does help, because I've never played the game before. But apparently you can get it where the water was dried up at night, suspiciously or something, but I don't... And you get it during the day but as well, but I don't... I don't see it. So should we... Should we use um, the old TikTok skill that Boya has to change it to nighttime? Let's, let's do that. Nothing happens! Oh, do I have to do it outside? Okay, fine. I'm just curious. I, I mean, I, I don't know if this is really something we need to do right now, but I, I would like to if we can. So, TikTok. That is pretty cool. That is pretty handy. Right, so, let's see. The tide's in. Ah, it's that spot. Yes, right. So that's where the, the stone is, so we need to come back during the day and go to that spot. I'll probably just mash the X button, or examine when we're there. So, here we go again. And let's see if we can grab it. Completely. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Because there was no. Sh I was looking for a shiny. That was my mistake. But they've already. They, they kind of tell you where it is at nighttime, which is. That's really nice. The castaway stone. How we use that to find the treasure, I don't know. But hey, we got it. Who actually grabbed that? Was it Ragnar again? No, his inventory's full. Ah, there you go, Maya. Right. So how do we use this? A curious rock that can absorb a huge amount of water. So I'm guessing you just find the waterfall 
use the stone to soak up the waterfall and then go in and find the treasure? I... I assume that's what you do. Yeah, maybe. I don't know where it is, but, uh... Maybe we'll find it one day. Right, okay, cool. So... I reckon... We'll go to that bazaar, which was near Endor, wasn't it? Or am I thinking of a different place? Let's just go back to Endor. I'm pretty sure it was just to the southwest of Endor, wasn't it? The desert? Yeah. Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. <laughs> no, it isn't. The sand fooled me. God damn it. God damn air rats, too. Uh, I think it's the I think it's nearby, but I could be wrong. Oh, did you see how much XP we just got then? Wow. I No, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Let's Let's uh let's go to uh don't actually know. I don't actually know. We might just jump on our boat and go there, actually. Yeah, I I don't really know the layout of this world very well yet. Okay, so we're on our boat. So... The Desert Bazaar, I think, was over this way. Obviously not the big desert, but I think it was here, wasn't it? Yes. This is the place. And we got some hoodoo gurus and more flamethrowers, which will be no problem. In fact, yep, yeah, get a crackle on them. And try a whack. Holy crap, there you go, Elena. That's a nice critical. About bloody time. Yeah, I'm telling you what, that whack spell. <clears throat> Apparently it doesn't work so well against undead, which makes sense. But it seems to be like it works quite often. I don't remember it ever, it ever working this well in any of the Dragon Quest I've played, but then again, I've not played that many of them. Right, let's see what's going on here then. Apparently, we can rebuild this town, we can get some good stuff from it. There doesn't seem to be much here right now. Hey, look who it is! Mr. Hoffman! Howdy, y'all! It's been a while, ain't it? It's me, Hank Hoffman Jr., remember? I done finished my apprenticeship with old Ilton, and now I'm sitting up by myself. Figured I might as well fill, uh, fo follow in the old coot's footsteps and send, set me up a boom town like near old Mentos. I can't very well just make a town out of this here wilderness all on my lonesome now, can I? Which is why I thought I might as ask you globetrotting varmints, little favor. Can y'all get out there and find me some folks with itchy feet and tell them about the newest town in town? <laughs> the newest town in town? <laughs> the newest town in town. Uh, I, li I like Hank. I seem to recall hearing about someone who's just itching for a few uh, for a new life hanging around the church down uh, little Lake Zay Fair. If we can just get together a sizable crowd on this here pra prairie, we'll be able to build us a mighty fine metropolis in no time flat. The newest town in town. Right. Lazy fair then. The church. Let's go. Let's do it. Can we zoom there, please? No, I don't want to heal. Zoom. Lazy fair. We didn't go there, did we? Crap. Okay, well... Palais de Leon's pretty close, I think. Let's go help Hoffman. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lacey Fair, was it? Where was it? Is it over this way? That's a shrine. That's not what we want. And that's the port's place. Where's Lacey Fair? Wild beasts? Yeah, boy is doing some pretty good physical damage now. That magma staff, dude. Pretty nice. Where is it? 
Where is laissez-faire? Ooh! New enemies! Cocoon goons? What the They look like tanglers. And they're super weak. Ah, new enemy though, pretty cool. Oh my lord, that's a lot of Venus sky traps. Uh, which they probably don't like Sis, so let's do that. Mm, Crackle, probably not going to be that great against them, but still, give it a go. Oh, nice one, boy. Yeah. Holy crap. Ah, is this it? Is this like say fair? I think it is, isn't it? No, it is. No, no, it's not. Like say fair is where the sisters were dancing. Isn't it? This is the hometown. I forget the name of it, though. I really do wish that they said the name of the town as you entered. Jesus. What place is this? I don't bloody know. No, this is not where we need to be anyway. It must be it must be further south. In fact, I think it is. Yes. This this looks familiar. A boot a boot du monde, that's the one. Yeah, Lacey Fair's down here. Here it is. Nearly. We'll get there eventually, chaps. We'll get there eventually. And we will be able to zoom back here, I assume. Uh, but apparently near the church is where we want to be. Is it you? Peace be with you. I am an uh, itinerant nun. I set out from my motherland to aid those in need uh, any way I could. If I could find myself a fledgling settlement somewhere, I'm sure I could be of great use to its inhabitants. How did Hoffman hear about this nun, anyway? I certainly do. So this Mr. Hoffman is establishing a town of his own? My humblest thanks. I shall make my way there forthwith. Good luck. It's quite a, quite a distance. <laughs> Gonna need a boat. Alright, well, that's cool. Uh, yeah, you know what? I might just I might just carry on doing this uh, this new town side quest for a little while. See how far we can progress it. Uh, is there anything else to do here? I don't I don't know. I don't know. Let's uh, can we zoom back to? Oh yeah, we can straight back to Hoffman's place. Sweet. Oh, he's having a word with her already. She got there fast. I mean, we zoomed there, for God's sake. Maybe she has Zoom. Maybe, I don't know. Out of there. I've been waiting for y'all to come on by. i just been shooting the breeze with that there sister you done sent on down here, mate. There's a few folks in town I done invited myself, too. Looks like this place is finally starting to get uh, hustling and a bustling. But it still, ain't it still ain't nothing much more than a cow shit in the outhouse right about now. You just uh, gotta help. Let me keep on bringing the folks are flocking into town now, mage. I, I can't. <laughs> I struggle to read his dialogue. And I done thought of the perfect way to get him down here, too. But I can't very well stand around out here and tell you all about it. Drop on by my little house on the prairie when you get yourself a minute. I done built my uh, little place just nearby. Y'all come back? Yep, yeah, okay. Ooh. Okay. So how long do we have to wait? Where is his house? There's a fucking frog there! There's a frog! <laughs> it talks. It's like, it's this frog from Chrono Cross, uh, Chrono Cross, Chrono Trigger. Uh, goodness me. I know it's, uh, it is said that the sleepy fox seldom has feathered breakfasts. Oh, chickens. But it is not also true that one slumber invites another. Yeah, true, true. I feel as if I have awoken from a slumber of one thousand and one years. Oh, good day. And who might you be? 
mage, and esteemed companions, I am most honoured to make your acquaintance. I am but a simple frog, who has by chance learned the language of humankind. It's pretty impressive. Were you aware of the rumour that a magnificent castle once stood upon this very spot? No, please tell me more about it. Oh yes, this surely was once a kingdom whose fortune was built on trade with distant lands. But now it is no more than an arid expanse you see before you. But you youngsters are aiding in the efforts to restore this humble hamlet to its former magnificence, are you not? I do little but while away my days in idleness here by this pond. Pray, come and speak to me again when the town is further restored, Ribbit. Cool. I wonder who he is. I bet he's... Well, he might just be a frog, but... Since when can frogs talk? Hmm. Peace be with you. I am a wandering nun. My heartfelt thanks go to you for teaching me of this place. I have consulted with Mr. Hoffman, and he agrees that I should help you uh, to the best of my ability. I believe I can be of most use to you uh, at Mr. Hoffman's home, so I shall retire there and await your orders. Yeah, where is his house? You'd think it'd be here, but they go this way, so maybe it's... Oh, there it is! Ha <laughs> ha! Is he ready for us, I wonder? I don't know. The Pioneer and Dun gone <laughs> Oh my god. The Pioneer and Dun gone got started. Oh, there she is. The beauty of this garden sets my mind at, at peace. I pray that uh, I can be of some use to you in some way. And there we go. We can save and all the other stuff that I don't do ever. Let's see what's inside. Is there anything behind this house? No. Some books, though. Did he build this place himself? It's pretty impressive. Oh, there's no interest in books, though. Okay. Not much else going on in here. Well, if it ain't little old mage, I just done got finished getting everything ready. Well, all right then. If there's first thing you gotta do is give this place a kind of name, it'll get folks flocking here like flies on fertilizer. I done had a few ideas myself, but I just can't settle on uh, one for certain. Tell you what, y'all been helping me get the place together and all, how's about I let you decide? I'll rattle off a couple of my ideas and you can tell me which one you like the best. Here goes. Mage Town. It's a mighty pretty name, ain't it? I don't think I need to hear any other suggestions. Mage Town it is. I knew it, ain't that swell. Mage Town it is then, yeehaw! All right, then we'll name our little old township Mage Town, agreed? Yes. We got ourselves a town name. Let's get down to the real business at hand. Truth of the matter is, I've been having some chance encounters. I've done me some reading of some mighty old books, thinking I might find some stuff us pioneers could use, uh, make good use of. Seems that out there in the big old world, there's plenty of folks on the same quest as y'all are. Chance encounters is all about grabbing a hold of them folks, shooting the breeze, learning a thing or two, Making new partners while you're at it. Fucking hell, Hank, you talk a lot, dude. <laughs> oh my god, my throat. And if we can send a few folks over and bring a few folks back to other places of our own town, you see the benefit, no mistake. What do you say? You reckon you might want to peck a pioneer and soul to send off uh, Ambassador in? <laughs> ambassador in. Yes. You, 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 please explain it. Pioneer is a, uh, a body handpicked by yourself to head on out into the world and learn all there is to learn from folk in foreign lands. When you send a pioneer out there, you get a pioneer back from wherever you send the varmint to. That pioneer, they'll just sail on down and start making a new life for themselves here in Magetown. The more folks you get on out there and have chance encounters with, the more folks you'll end up bringing in to populate this here fair city. Okay. Okay, how do we do? Who do we send off? Yeah, let's find this perfect pioneer. Remember, Rage of the Stoker will be representing you. Oh, wow. This is quite. This seems at least quite an in depth little side quest. I don't know who to choose. The knight? Maybe? <laughs> send out a little kid by himself? What? Choose careful now. I d does it matter? 
I don't know who to choose. I'm going to send out the knight. Oh, we can name him as well. Oh, what should we call him? Um, we'll call him. Uh, I'm trying to think of a pun or something. My mind is going blank. Uh, um, hmm. <laughs> oh my god, I, I'm I'm sucking. Um, I'll be right back. I need some time to think about this. Okay, uh, I've spent long and hard thinking about this name because it's, it's super important. You know, you don't want to be sending out just anyone to uh, to spread the good word about this town. So I thought long and hard. Uh, I shit you not, spent about five hours today just thinking about this. Um. And I think I finally decided on one. We're, we're going to call him Dave. Call him Dave. There you go. Is that Dave? That's Dave. Dave. You are... Question mark. We don't know. You're, um... You're in your 80s. And you... What the frick? Do, seriously? I... We have to pick hobbies? Tombola? <laughs> Smashing pots. I, sh I totally should have called him Link. Metal detecting. Aromatherapy. Nail art. Cruise daydream. Is that a hobby, really? Is daydreaming really a hobby? Meteorology. Street dance. Juggling. <laughs> Philandering. Ghost, ghost stories. Pro programming. What is this, guys? What even is this? Like... I'm so good. Pillow fighting. <laughs> Sleep talking. Big hair. This is ridiculous. Cheap gags. Okay. Dave, the 80 year old, we don't know what, is, is, is into um, brown nosing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do it. He's non binary. The non binary Dave, 80 year old Dave from. God knows where, who likes brown nosing. What are the words of greeting or Dave Lear will be sent? Uh, oh, I don't know. We could. Is this. Is this online stuff? This. This seems like something you would put in, like, an online greeting, but it, it's not, right? This is just. I don't know. What do we want? Like. Uh. Hello. I'm just going to do it all caps, because he's just going to yell. He's just going to yell at people. Hello! Uh... My... Name... Is Dave. My name is Dave. Uh, yeah. Yeah, his, his name's Dave, and he's gonna sing it. <laughs> he's gonna sing... <laughs> what the fuck? There we go. Yes, send that message out into the world, yes. Wow. Let's get that sucker on down here, then. Hey, Dave, get your sorry carcass down here right now. Major needs your help. Well, Dave's here on Rare to Go, so you just come on and holler whenever you want to get the Pioneer and starting. Uh, by the way, you can send out your Pioneer out to as many other places as you like, so don't go worrying about spreading him too thin. Old Dave will always be here ready to shoot the breeze. Okay, let's send out Dave. <laughs> Hello, my name is Dave. <laughs> Although... Did I accidentally put a space in between the I and the S? Why Why is that? Okay. <laughs> Dave recites the message clearly and carefully. Do you want to change the message? Let, let me just check. Did I, oh, don't make me... Oh, don't make me do it all again. Oh, for frick's sake. Hello. My name is Dave. Oh, I think I know why it messed up, actually. I think I know why. 
Hello. My name. That's 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 a V. No shit. How do I delete it? There we go. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? My name. Yeah, I know why. Let's get two spaces. Is Dave. Let's not forget the 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 tune now. There we go. End. I am happy with that message. I approve of this message. Cool. Right. Let's send him out. Or uh, it. I guess. I don't know them. Alrighty. What can I call? Uh, yeah. Let's. Um, this is online stuff. Is this? Wait a minute. Chance encounter. Oh, God, I think this is probably this. This is online stuff. You can see, I've not, I've not actually saved properly in a while. Um. Yeah, do it. I guess. Yeah, send him out. Okay. I knew it! I knew it was online stuff! This this isn't gonna work. No. So, can we actually progress this side quest, guys? Or do you have to have online connection? Because I don't think I can do that. Um... I think we might be at a, 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 an impasse. View citizens. Oh, apparently we've got Bill, Rocky, A... No. Rocky and Adrian. I mean, I, I know it's not quite spelled right, but... At least I don't think it is. And Frog. Female 20s hobby puff puffery. <laughs> what? Puff puffery? Bill likes brown nosing too. Okay. Yeah, you guys might have to explain this to me because I, I don't really know. But if it is an online thing, then I don't, I don't think we're going to be able to progress it. <laughs> but, oh well, that was kind of funny. We had some laughs. That was interesting. Um, <laughs> okay. Right, guys. Well, I don't actually know what we're going to be... What we need to do next. We got the flute. I don't know where we play that. I don't know where to go next. Um, we can obviously do a lot more exploring, and there's a lot of the world we still haven't seen. So I might do that next time. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little session. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm getting rather hungry now, so I need to go get some food and visit my dear old grandmother. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. This got really weird towards the end. Holy crap! <laughs> Uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye for now. This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.